Hello friends, it's Reza. Welcome to channel Reza Blade. I have missed you and maybe you missed me, maybe you didn't, but I think you're going to like this video uh, because if the 15 year, I mean, I'm, it's more than 15 years, but if the trend is on, uh, then you like zombies and uh, then everybody likes zombies. At least that's what I hear. And Goosebumps is the theme for this month's Little Box of Horrors, uh, running the 18th of November the, through the 30th, I think. Uh, this is a very fun, um, well, you know, you know how I, how I be. Um, I have, uh, I have some horror and goth-minded aesthetics, and, and you are familiar with that if you are one of my subscribers. If you're not... Join us, subscribe. Do like and comment on this video though. Uh, I really hope you like it because people dig zombies and Pewtometry has their first plate ever. It's a stamping plate and it's zombies and look and look and look. So um, I will show you what I did with this. I had a lot of ideas and I made some of them happen. So. Uh, what am I going to talk about at the end? Uh, because this was kind of fun last time. Nobody really commented on it. But uh, at the end, play fair. Watch it all the way through. But I'm going to put a real life uh, mycology zombie fact at the very end of the video. And it's a really cool fact. So you definitely want to hear. Anyway, so this video is dedicated to George A. Romero. He is widely regarded as the father of the modern zombie. Um, now I'm probably getting into zombie horror geek kind of stuff here. So, uh, but, but do, if you've not seen Night of the Living Dead and the whole trilogy and all these things, you should, you should watch them. Um, I hear that some people's favorite zombie movie is Zombieland. I would like to know what your favorite zombie movie. Tell me in the comments. Yes, these mean my skin infection is still happening. It's actually getting a little bit worse now. I'm a little nervous. But anyway, this is kind of how things have been rolling. But as usual, I am showing you all my ideas. I have some swatch stick ideas. And if I forget to tell you, I'm using Nevermind's matte top coat for anything matte that I have done. I didn't do a lot matte for this, just two of them. Uh, and anyway, and there's a Christmas uh, kind of themed uh, swatch stick that I got out of this plate. So um, I really do like the, uh, the brains image here and the text here. That was a lot of fun to play with. Um, and I even, this looks like Squidward's head to me, like if Squidward were a zombie. So I, I did a Squidward zombie Manny too. <laughs> I'm not a Manny, but, but a swatch. So, um, oh, you've got red on you. That was a reference. Uh, but I don't want to give it away. So maybe comment if you get the reference. So, um, what should I show you first? So I did... A couple of um, fun kind of techniques. This, um, maybe you'll insert the pictures within the video for a second. I'm not the greatest of editors. I use free software and it's all on my phone. So, but I do want to show you how this uh, photograph, this is a pond Manny. Um, and uh, did have some fun with this. And I use those words because I like to use my words. I'm a person who, even though I lose words sometimes, um, I never lose the 50 cent words. I only lose the, the dime words or the, you know, penny words. It's not fair. I really, this one I had a lot of fun with. The Brains Manny, tell me what your favorite is. And then I use these same end nails. This is a polish, P-A-H-L-I-S-H, polish, P-O-L-I-S-H. Um, I did a radial gradient to do these fun, I got the idea because this is an image on, on the plate, but I did kind of arrange them in a certain way, uh, cause I wanted to. And, uh, so I hope you like this one. This one's kind of maybe my favorite or is it this one or the, I don't know. Anyway, but I did do dog and cat zombies because um, butometry included those on the plate. 
The wounds, um, there are some wounds here. I do like that there are multiple sizes offered of a bunch of other stuff. Um, oh, and the cartoony zombie stuff. I, uh, I did do those, so I'll show you those in a second too. So um, anyway, but I used the, the slashes and the stitches and stuff in the background. I'm um, hoping that that kind of makes for a good design. So those are the things that I'm not wearing because my hands are still dorky. Um, here's the Christmas one I did. Uh, there, is, there are three different sizes of a heart um, on this plate here and here. So here's what I did. I used one of Graceful Polishes last season's. This is like a Christmas tree kind of a polish. And then I did um, Grinch's heart. You know how at the end of the Dr. Seuss book, sorry, spoilers, um, his heart grows three sizes. So I started at a little black heart and then it grew a little bit and then it grew a big bit. And I really, really like this one. So tell me what you think of my Grinch Manny. Not Manny, I keep calling these swatches Manny's and they're not. Um, here's the finger thing I did. I used this little bone, stamped it in white, and then I filled in some coloring of one of these. Um, hit the bottle's olive stamping polish, which was from a polish pickup, so it's not like you can get it just any old time. But it is like one of my must-have stamping polishes. So anyway, but I used that to color this in. And then some kind of, I wanted like a car door smashed nail kind of effect. So that's how I colored that in. I don't know if that worked out. And then the red is hit the bottles of Vermilion to One, which is like the best red ever. Um, and that's like my, my favorite, like actual color red is this, but my favorite stamping red for like blood and things is definitely a Vermilion to One. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. Um, this is, a, this is a fun plate, I mean, especially for their first. I really wish I could have used this, is what I think of kind of as the football jersey effect um, zombie kind of look. And then I did want to do one where I had the torso and then like I kind of did the rib bones poking out of it, but I didn't get to, you know, really do that because I ran out of time. Um, I'm actually... A day late on this video but I have had a migraine well you know me um, I'm back to daily migraines again so cross your fingers for me have a thought for me maybe um, anyway so I wanted to show you oh yeah so this is a radial gradient which means it's a circle gradient um, I started with like kind of an orange in the middle it really evened out when I did the top coat that does happen um, very very forgiving um, gradients and top coat it's it's all like they're meant to work together in a big system it's very awesome so anyway I don't know why I keep picking this up so with these cartoonish kind of uh, zombie faces what I did was um, I did kind of a um, tone on tone thing this is all this is all me getting more um, daring with my free hand, including this little, I, I don't know why we do that. Why do we, why do we draw stitched up cuts on zombies? Because who, who's giving them stitches? Nobody's giving them stitches. I don't understand, but it is the aesthetic. So it's not that the plate is wrong. It's that our brains are wrong. Um, anyway, so I did this tone on tone thing. Uh, and then I did this tone on tone thing, kind of. I gave him little like dotting tool eyeballs. And then he kind of looks like he's he's got a boxing, um, it's not called a grip, what is it called? He's got a, anyway, he's got those teeth protector things in there. That's kind of what he looks like, it's fun. Anyway, so then I gave him blood in his hairline because why not? Um, and then I used a speckled polish for this. I don't know if it was especially effective. I gave him a buzz cut, like, um, I, was it Michael Douglas in Falling Down? Was this the haircut he had? I don't remember. Um, so what else do I have to tell you? Well, I have to tell you that I forgot 
um, to put my notifications on uh, airplane setting. So I hope that nothing uh, interferes with the sound in this video. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's my Squidward zombie. It's really not quite Squidward, but anyway, I did. Oh, and um, easy way to make blood drops, eye drops, etc., etc. Um, you know, zero zero brush. It's my magic. So you you put a dot down, and then you just drag your brush through in the direction that you want the point to make a point. Anyway, so that's that's what I did. And there's my zombie guy. I did the dotting tool eyeballs again within the within the thing. And uh, here's another one. And then I kind of gave him a part. I don't know. These are just ideas, people. <laughs> These are just ideas. Hi, this is Future Reza. Future Reza is annoyed at Past Reza because Past Reza forgot to put in the swatches. And to say, hey, here's my swatch sheet that I always show you, except when I forget to. These stamped really easily, and I was very impressed with the functionality of a stamping plate. I hate it when I forget to do this. It's going to be very clumsily edited in, and I do apologize in advance. Um, that little heart hole in the heart is because I scraped too many times, not because there was a functionality issue. And to prove it, I stamped it again. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure this is all the stamps. And I did them in polish on paper to show you that it all works fabulously. And once again, I'm sorry, here's a very clumsy edit, exit. So, um, yeah, what do you want to see in new stamping plates? Everybody has a stamping plate wish list. Uh, I mean, obviously, besides Art Nouveau and the Pre-Raphaelites, that's clearly what everybody wants. Oh, is that just me? Anyway, uh, what's your, I think I already asked what your favorite zombie movie is. Uh, I'm really done with zombie movies. I was never a huge fan of the movies. I like the old school ones a little better. I hear that I really do have to give Zombieland a try. I would really just rather watch Army of Darkness for the 300th millionth time um, and skip the Evil Dead movies. But I know that's probably blasphemy. <laughs> Next, what is up? What am I doing now? Oh, anyway, links, links uh, to buy the precious plate and all of the fun little box of horror things. Uh, links are in the description box. So, um, yeah, uh, tell me. Um, I was in the middle of telling you something and it doesn't matter, but uh, yeah. So um, next, what is up? What am I doing next? Uh, hit the bottle. Uh, bah Humbug plates. I have a fun video coming up on those, including the newest one, Bah Humbug 3. They get better every year. Um, obviously fun I design ideas. We have December's Myth and Magic uh, Manny by Me box that obviously hasn't even shipped to me yet, but I'm very excited about it. So excited about it. So that's coming up. And um, okay, here's my fact. Um, like subscribe, comment, etc. Tell me if I did okay. Um, mycology fact, which is just like fungi and stuff. There's a species of Ophidio Ophiocordyceps. I always try to add another syllable in there. Um, it's really a parasitic fungus. It turns ants into zombies. It synchronizes ants. It can make them spontaneously die. And then it sprouts out of their corpses. This is true. This is not wrong. There are I saw it in several documentaries because that's what I do. I like to watch them at night or whenever. Um, but what is the moral of the story? You know, there were doubt that Mother Nature is metal, by which I mean baller, by which I mean kickbutt. Stay away from tetradose toxin, speaking of zombies, and uh, have a great fall family feast fest. Bye-bye.